I chose this course because I thought it was extremely unique in terms of it having an equal emphasis on both the biological sciences as well as the social and management sciences. And I think a person leading a conservation organization today needs those skills. I needed at, at that point to get some distance from conservation issues. I had been working in a grassroots organization for five years and I needed to have a more in-depth analysis and critically, critically analyze how was conservation being developed in, in Peru in this case, because I'm Peruvian. Actually, from early on, this course not only met, but exceeded my expectations. I was actually unaware before coming here the sort of scope of exposure we would have to conservation academics as well as conservation professionals. And the course has been so dynamic in terms of not just your average lecture, but debate and discussion outside the classroom, events in the evenings, networking events, um, which has been so much more than what I was anticipating from your usual master's course. One thing that stands out is the professional placement, where you get to work as an intern with globally reputed conservation organizations in Cambridge or elsewhere. That gives you a lot of professional working ethics and working experience. They are top managers or leaders, they come and share with us their uh, experiences, uh, which includes the successes as well as the failures that they would have gone through in managing or leading those organizations. And that provides us with a, a, a rich, I would say, uh, understanding of what is uh, expected of us as future conservation leaders.